Latent fingerprints on paper are everywhere. Latent fingerprints are fingerprints that are unintentionally left behind. They can be very useful in all manner of investigations. Lifting latent fingerprints means to make them visible so they can be recorded. This video will show it's possible to lift latent fingerprints from porous paper using only light and an ordinary camera. No chemicals, powders, or fuming is necessary. The paper and the fingerprint are not altered or damaged in any way. This allows the fingerprint to be lifted and saved and processed for potential DNA. I put together a setup using a camera, a support to hold samples of paper, and two lamps to illuminate the samples. I used an ordinary camera having no special lenses, filters, or sensor. Lamp 1 is an ordinary light available in any photography shop. Lamp 2 is a special light I built for this application. The paper holder kept each sample in the same position relative to the camera for either lamp. A top view of the setup shows how the camera and the two lamps point at the paper samples. The camera field of view overlaps a portion of the paper sample and is focused on the surface of the paper. The sample could be illuminated using lamp 1 or lamp 2. A view of the setup from behind the camera shows where the fingerprint will be located on the paper. The setup of the camera and paper never changed no matter which lamp was being used. I collected a variety of paper types to test. They included copy paper, notebook paper, business cards, contract paper, thermal receipt paper, and others. The next clip shows my system working in real time on cardstock used to make business cards. The card is illuminated using lamp one to show there are no fingerprints. Lamp one is turned off, lamp two is turned on. Again, there are no fingerprints visible. Lamp two is turned off, lamp one is turned on, and a fingerprint is applied, which cannot be seen using lamp one. Lamp one is turned off, Lamp 2 is turned on, and the fingerprint is visible. Some contamination on the paper is also visible. Another fingerprint is applied, and it's clearly visible. Lamp 2 is turned off, lamp 1 is turned on, and the fingerprints are not visible. Another fingerprint is applied, which cannot be seen. Lamp 1 is turned off, lamp 2 is turned on, and the new fingerprint can now be seen. Another fingerprint is applied, and is clearly visible when using lamp 2. Lamp 2 is turned off, Lamp 1 is turned on, and no fingerprints are visible. Latent fingerprints are not visible when illuminated using Lamp 1, but are clearly visible when using Lamp 2. The next clip uses ordinary copy paper. The paper is illuminated using Lamp 2 to show there are no fingerprints. Lamp 1 is used when a fingerprint is applied to show that it is not visible. Lamp 2 is used to visualize that fingerprint. Some contamination in the paper is also visible. Using lamp 1 shows that the fingerprint is indeed not visible. Next is the time elapsed behavior of a latent fingerprint deposited on a piece of printer paper. All the images were taken using lamp 2. This picture was taken immediately after a fingerprint was deposited on a piece of printer paper. 24 hours later, another picture of the same fingerprint was taken. The sebum making up the fingerprint is diffusing into the paper, causing the ridge detail to blur. 48 hours later, the ridge detail has degraded more. 20 days later, the ridge detail has degraded even more, but the rate of degradation has slowed down. 27 days later, the ridge detail has not degraded much more. The sebum has partially dried, making it more viscous, as well as the paper becoming partially saturated. The next image is of a t-shirt. A fingerprint is present, but is not visible because lamp 1 is being used. When lamp 2 is used, a smudge becomes visible. The shape implies that it's a fingerprint. A blurred fingerprint may not be useful due to its degraded ridge detail, but may be useful for DNA identification. Receipts can be used to track purchases and the locations they were made. If latent fingerprints can be lifted from the receipts, it will provide the identity of the purchaser. The next clip shows an international receipt with a latent fingerprint on it. When illuminated using lamp 1, the fingerprint is not visible. When using lamp 2, the fingerprint is clearly visible. 
The next clip shows a domestic receipt with a latent fingerprint on it. Lamp 1 does not show the fingerprint. Using a mercury lamp does not show the fingerprint. Lamp 2 makes the fingerprint clearly visible. The last clip shows that it's possible to lift a latent fingerprint from a common paper towel. This image shows the paper towel illuminated by lamp 1. There is a fingerprint on the towel, but it is not visible. This image uses a mercury lamp to illuminate the paper towel, and still the fingerprint is not visible. This image shows the same paper towel illuminated by lamp 2. The fingerprint is now clearly visible. In this video, I've shown that it is possible to lift latent fingerprints from porous paper using only light and an ordinary camera. Thank you for watching.